Welcome to this lesson on the environmental toxins that increase your risk of dementia and how to avoid exposure to them. In the last lesson, you learned that the link between diabetes and your risk of dementia is so strong that some researchers call Alzheimer's disease type 3 diabetes. People who become resistant to insulin and develop diabetes, especially type 2 diabetes, double their risk of developing dementia. In this lesson, you're going to learn how certain environmental exposures are threatening for your brain and how these link to your chances of developing dementia. I'll then give you some practical tools to limit your exposure to these specific toxins. So the environments you live in in the modern world are vastly different to our ancestors, even only 50 years ago. The exposure you face from everything to do with your diet to the air you breathe have changed dramatically over the last 100 years. We now know that some of the things you're exposed to through your interactions with your surroundings play a very real role in your health and wellness. And these exposures are having a big influence on your brain. So toxins in the environment are a real threat to the brain that has largely been ignored by traditional medicine. You're exposed to neurotoxins that are in the air, the food you eat, through water, house cleaning products, cosmetics, literally everywhere. And certain toxins are very neurotoxic, like heavy metals, like mercury and lead. When we've, been, we've been exposed to these for our, our entire life and they're clearly damaging our brains. So these environmental factors affect the brain more than any other organ in the body. Why? Because the brain is the most active organ in the body. The brain is only 2% of the body's weight but consumes 25% of the body's energy. Anything that uses that much energy will also be overwhelmed by toxins and environmental factors that can significantly damage it. So this, this includes the things we've added to food, along with the other toxins a little bit at a time. They are chipping away at the reserve of the brain until you start seeing the damage that's being done to the brain that manifests as dementia. So environmental toxins are everywhere in our environment and are linked to the development of dementia. With so many toxins around, it can be hard to know what to exactly look out for. But two of the main toxins to really try and avoid are glyphosate and artificial sweeteners. These two offenders are particularly problematic because they disrupt your microbiome. That's that collection of microbes in your gut that protect your brain and body, which we've already talked about, and which then affects the levels of inflammation in your body and your metabolism as well. And as we've discussed in previous lessons, increased inflammation is directly linked to compromised brain health. And glyphosate has become an incredibly popular chemical in the agricultural industry. This is the active ingredient in things like Roundup. That's the brand name of a widely used weed killer. And what makes glyphosate so concerning is that it has a toxic effect on the microbiome, affecting brain chemicals that can controlled by the guts, metabolism, hormones, and inducing inflammation. And it's been linked to an increase of developing cancer as well. And this is why glyphosate should be avoided at all costs and why you should eat organic foods where you possibly can. So the use of glyphosate is related to the development of genetically modified food. The problem with genetically modified foods is not that it's genetically modified. That, be, that could be good or that could be bad. It's the reason it's modified. It's modified to make it resistant to glyphosate. This means on a large industrial farm, you can aerial spray all of the crops with glyphosate, kill the weeds, and do no, harm, do no harm to the food. The problem is now that this food, which we will eat, is contaminated with glyphosate. So it's really important to avoid genetically modified food where you can, and eat organic to avoid being exposed to these biologically damaging weed killers. Another way in which the environment may be affecting your brain is through the effects of air pollution. So air pollution has been linked to a variety of negative health effects, but research has shown that it's detrimental to the brain. So for example, older women exposed to air pollution experience a mental de decline equivalent to two years of aging. Older adults who are exposed to air pollution make 50% more errors on mental examinations than people with lower exposure. Air pollution also makes performance worse on verbal and mass tests. And these changes become more pronounced with aging. So air pollution has also been linked to brain inflammation 
and the accumulation of certain toxic proteins like beta amyloid and tau, which we talked about in module one that are associated with Alzheimer's disease. So one way to reduce your exposure to air pollution is to avoid going outdoors if levels are particularly elevated. And if your exposure to air pollution is more regular than you might want, you should consider wearing a mask for protection. As well as avoiding air pollution, you should also do your best to avoid artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners have been heavily marked as an alternative to sugar, giving many people the impression that these are actually healthy options. Unfortunately, the scientific evidence suggests quite the opposite. The idea is untrue and potentially dangerous. It's become increasingly clear that artificial sweeteners can lead to increased weight gain and are associated with type 2 diabetes. And this may be as a result of damaging effects on the microbiome. Artificial sweeteners have been repeatedly shown to change how your gut bacteria function, altering the balance and action of your microbes, increasing your risk of type 2 diabetes, a powerful risk factor as we've discussed already for dementia. With all these ideas in mind, artificial sweeteners are certainly not doing your brain any favours and should be considered environmental toxins. So you can hopefully see that toxins like glyphosate and artificial sweeteners, which we encounter every day, are linked with damage to your microbiome, which causes inflammation, a major risk, fa risk factor for dementia. Another way in which toxins disrupt your, your brain is through disrupting your hormones. So hormones are incredibly important when it comes to your brain and body's overall health. If hormones become imbalanced, this can cause a cascade of effects, including weight gain, mood problems, fatigue, sleep problems, and many, many more. And hormonal dysregulation is linked to dementia. So let's have a look at some environmental toxins that disrupt your hormonal imbalance. So for example, bisphenol A, which you get exposed to from eating canned food and through plastic bottles, disrupts estrogen testosterone and insulin hormones. And this can lead to the problems in the brain as well. They've also been associated with cancer in women. If you read the labels on a lot of processed foods, you may have noticed the words nitrates or nitrites. These are the types of food additives that lead to the formation of damaging nitrosamines that cause insulin resistance. And as we've already discussed, insulin resistance is linked to an increased risk of Alzheimer's and dementia. So you want to try and avoid being exposed to the products that contain nitrosamines to avoid increasing your risk for insulin resistance and dementia. Read food packaging to see if any nitrates or nitrites have been added. But the simpler way, if you can, is to eat and drink organic products. And finally, it's really important that we look at a very specific over-the-counter medication a proton pump inhibitor or stomach acid blocking drug, which can wreak havoc on your brain. These drugs, which are incredibly common and are used to treat heartburn and block stomach acids, are not a free ride. They can disrupt the delicate balance of bacteria in your gut and increase your risk of Alzheimer's and dementia. It's abundantly clear that certain environmental exposures are damaging to the brain. So take a moment to consider your lifestyle are you eating a lot of genetically modified foods that may contain glyphosate? Do you consume artificial sweeteners with the mistaken belief that it's actually better than sugar? Both are threatening to your brain. Are you currently taking acid blocking drugs? Are you regularly exposed to air pollution? All of these things can contribute to dementia risk, but there are many practical steps you can take to reduce your toxin exposure. So let's review what you can do to protect yourself. The number one thing you can do is to eat organic food to fill in all the nutrient gaps you have and that don't have all these toxins that come along for the, free, for the ride to damage your brain. So it's not always possible to eat organic because we're traveling and can't get access or it's just too expensive. So we really should just do the best that we can. Use organic skin products, drink water from a stainless steel container, cook in pans that are stainless steel or that don't have plastic coatings. And the second thing you can do is to detoxify, to test yourself. Are you being exposed to environmental toxins? Do you have a heavy metal load in your body that's potentially affecting your brain and increasing your chances of dementia? 
So you should test yourself and then detoxify. And there are a number of great resources to help you identify which foods and products have environmental toxins in them and that you want to avoid. And I've included links to them in the resources section for this video. You also need to increase your body's capacity to get rid of these toxins. And there are clear strategies to do this. Food is the first place to start. So first get rid of the worst toxin, which is sugar. You also need to increase certain foods which can help with detoxification like broccoli, kale, that family of Bracchus vegetables, pomegranates, green tea, all have powerful detoxifying properties that you can use to your advantage. So eating a diet rich in polyphenols and antioxidants, a plant rich diet that I will give you in your dementia prevention toolbox. And in the next lesson, we're gonna get a handle on your current dementia risk status by measuring your risk of developing dementia using a series of online tests. So I'll look forward to seeing you there.